It's an image almost frozen in time as the larger than life statue of Buddy Holly stands tall at the new Buddy and Maria Elena Holly Plaza. If Buddy would have been here, uh, he would have been honored like I am too uh, to have this project come to fructition. The new plaza sits directly across from the Buddy Holly Center and Buddy's widow Maria Elena says while she's thrilled to be included, she didn't want her name to be on the plaza. I said, you know, I'll be happy if it's just Buddy Holly. Um, I, I appreciate it and I'm honored that I'm going to be there too, but my thought right away was it's enough with Buddy's name in there. But I insisted that her name be along with that of her late husband to honor her for her work in uh, keeping Buddy's name alive for more than a half century. Buddy Holly's 1959 death was felt around the world, but his ties to Lubbock made him especially well known here. He was very proud of Lubbock. I, I remember seeing some interviews that he did. Where do you come from, Lubbock, Texas? Lubbock, Texas, yes. You, go to school you, down you could there? see that he was so proud to say, I'm from Lubbock. Maria Elena says Lubbock will always hold strong memories for her. I came here to Lubbock to get married at his home and she hopes her love and life with Holly will carry over to those who visit the plaza. It's a place where a lot of people can go and enjoy themselves and uh, hopefully even married there. City Councilman Paul Bean says it's the perfect location at what he calls the entrance to the city. With Buddy facing his Buddy Holly Center, and this is where the statues always belonged in my view. When Maria Elena saw the new location for the first time, she was overwhelmed. And people come from all over to see this. And she says that is what Buddy's dream was. That he always said, I, I'm doing this for the people that love my music.